third objective of section 2.8 absolute value inequalities has to do with applications or word problems so here's a word problem when a new car transmission is built okay so we're using our imaginations we're imagining ourselves in the factory when a new car transmission is built the diameter d of the transmission must not differ from the specified standard s by more than 0 0.37 millimeter the engineers expressed this requirement as the absolute value of d minus s less than or equal to 0 0.37 if the standard s is 216.8 82 millimeters for a particular car. Find the limits of D. Okay, so that's a challenge. So we have to be sure of what we understand uh, of what is meant by D, what is meant by S, and um, what we're supposed to do. What is meant by D is this is a diameter of a transmission that we're building. Okay, and so we can't make it too big, we can't make it too small, but whatever whatever we make it, that's what D is. But there is a standard S, and this standard S actually is not a variable at all, even though we use a letter for it. Um, the standard S is 216.82. And we are to find the limits of D. So um, it must not differ from 216.82 by too much e either way. You can't make it too big. You can't make it too little. So what I want to do is uh, focus on this part of the statement here. We need to be able to pick out important clauses from big paragraphs for word problems. The diameter D of the transmission must not differ from the specified standard S by more than 0.37 millimeter. Okay. And basically, we're going to translate that. Okay, so this is a matter of translation. We're going to translate that statement because um, we want to know how it is that they made, how did they come up with this? I mean, it's already been translated for us, right? This is, this is the translation of all that. We would like to be able to do that uh, for ourselves because they might not have told us that. They could, they might have just left out this inequality and we would have had to produce it. How did they come up with that? Well, we're translating that red underlined part. Okay, what does that mean? Must not differ from. The D must not differ from S by more than. That is saying the same thing as the difference between D and S. Now, difference, think about math, okay? That's a subtraction, right? The difference between D and S must not be more than 0.37 millimeters. So this word here, difference, has a mathematical meaning, subtraction. And not more than, that has a mathematical meaning. We use a particular mathematical symbol for that. The difference between two things, D and S. Now, in this case, it's talking about a subtraction, but it could be either way, D minus S or S minus D. That's why we have the absolute value. 
if you put the absolute value bars on it, uh, these vertical bars, then it really doesn't matter whether it's D minus S or S minus D. The absolute value, the difference between D and S, okay, and that's this statement right here, absolute value, the difference between D and S, less than or equal to, that's what's meant by not be more than, right, less than or equal to 0.37. Okay, so let's take that inequality. We're to find the limits of D. We're going to make a substitution of this number for S, since this number here is the same thing as S. And then solve, solve the absolute value inequality. Well, it's a less than and uh, we know that if you have um, if you have the absolute value of something on the inside less than or less than or equal to a number a, then negative a less than or equal to whatever that is on the inside. Okay, we can break it up out of the absolute value bars. Less than or equal to A. That's the rule. And here the A is 0.37 and the inside is D minus 216.82. Well, now we have a three-sided or a tripartite inequality and basically all we and we want to what that means is we want to get the variable which is d by itself on the inside so we're just going to add 216.82 to all three sides and that'll give us uh, what we want uh, here obviously these two things are opposites so that they'll, they'll just go away just go away and then we'll add the numbers on the outsides and those are the limits of D it can't be any greater than 217.19 millimeter can't be any less than 216.45 millimeter the diameter of the transmission must be at least 216.45 millimeters but not greater than 217.19 millimeters and noticed that as on the test, we answer a word problem in words.